Hey guys, so I'm back for another hair tutorial and this one is on this hairstyle which has been dubbed the sock bun here on YouTube and I wanted to just go into how I accomplished this look. So stay tuned if you're interested. So to begin you need to grab a couple of things. First you need a comb and this is just a rat tail comb and a hairbrush. You will need these things to help to make the style sleek and neat. Next you want to grab a couple of hair ties, I think three or so will do and some hairspray to secure your style. And most crucial in this tutorial is your sock bun. And you can do it yourself and make it like I did, or you can go ahead and get it at any beauty supply stores. They have them at Target too that you'll just see them shaped like this. But I think doing it yourself is actually much better because you can custom make the size and the style you want to fit your hair length. So to create your sock bun, you'll need to grab an old pair of socks, preferably in black or closest to your hair color, so like a brown. These are in white, so go for black or brown. Or you can even grab an old pair of leggings or tights, because these work really well to create the sock bun. So for my sock bun, I actually chose to grab a pair of leggings, just because it has more material and I don't have to waste my time with cutting up socks. So grab your handy dandy leggings or socks and let's get started. So to start off you need to cut your leggings or your socks so you have two open ends. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut the leg off this legging so that I have this. And if you have socks you will need to cut off the toes and I'll show you where. You need to cut the toes off, just the toes, just the very end so you have two open ends. Now once you have the two open ends it's pretty easy to create the sock bun. Just go ahead and you're going to start rolling the sock bun over itself. So just keep rolling. Now this is your sock bun. That's the result. Simple as that. You can go ahead and add multiple layers to this. Like you can add the other leg to this. Just roll it over it. Keep rolling it down to create a bigger size bun. And that's what I did to create this one. Actually did multiple rolls to create a bigger bun for the length of my hair. And you can choose to do multiple layers depending on the length of your hair. You can go for a smaller bun, it's up to you. So customize it to your hair length. So next I'm going to go into how you actually use it to create this kind of hairstyle. So stay tuned for the tutorial. So to start off with, you want day old or two day old hair. You don't want freshly washed hair. You want your hair to be a little bit tackier than it would be if it was completely clean because that will help the style hold a little bit better. Next, you need to figure out the position of the bun on your head. Where do you want it to be located? So you can either have it located center of your head a little lower down or you can go with a high bun. And that's what I'm going to go with, a high bun. So once you figure out the position of your bun, you want to go ahead and put your hair into a ponytail in that position. And you can either choose to go ahead with a really messy ponytail, if you want to go for a messy bun, or you can go for a sleek, slick style, which is going to be my option. So I'm going to put my hair in a bun and get it as neat and slick as I can. So once you have the ponytail in place, since I'm going for a really sleek style, I'm going to go ahead and get some hairspray. This is just my bedhead hard head hairspray, and I'm going to spray along the bottom of the ponytail, or the roots of the ponytail. And then I'm going to really brush that in to make it really sleek and tame all those flyaways. Next, you're going to go ahead and grab your little sock bun and position that over your ponytail. So now you'll have it like it was holding your ponytail in place. Next, you're going to go ahead and kind of feather the hair around the ponytail so you have somewhat of a donut effect at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and just feather it out make sure that the hair covers all the little parts of the sock bun. So once I have it the way I want it, I'm going to grab just a handy dandy ponytail holder. 
can use a rubber band or whatever you have handy and I'm just going to secure it over the sock bun to get that kind of a shape and now to fix that you're going to tuck the exposed hair now the ends of the hair underneath that ponytail holder and the sock bun so that's what you'll have and to make it a little bit neater we're going to go ahead and use our comb cover up any little loose ends that we may have and go over it with another ponytail holder just to get everything tucked in now you can go ahead and add a little bit more hairspray for those flyaways final adjustments and you're good to go that's your sock bun hope you enjoy it Thanks for watching and let me know if you want me to do more hair tutorials and on what. See you later. Bye.